All right, hello everybody. We're going to be working on uh, another example of the arithmetic gradient uniform series factor. Um, we are going to be looking at this problem, which isn't much more difficult. It's just uh, it, it throws one more little loop into the, the problem here. So uh, first thing is first. Uh, let's read the problem. So a mill was constructed in Denver. Expected year and maintenance costs are shown below. What is the projected annual equivalent maintenance cost if the interest rate is 8% compounded yearly? So it starts at 24000 goes down to 6000 on year four. So going into what that looks like on a cash flow diagram here, we have 24000 the first year. 18,000, second, 12,000, and then 6,000. So it becomes obvious that it's decreasing and it's decreasing by 6,000 each year. So opposite of what we had done before where it was increasing, this time it's decreasing. So really there's only one tiny little twist. So if we figure out what our givens are in this problem, um, we find that our A is the first value, 24,000. But our G is actually going down, so it's a negative 6,000. Looking at our interest rate, let's go ahead and not use this 8. Let's go ahead and use 6 so we can practice using the table since the last one we did the equation. Um, so let's use 6% annual and let's use still the n is still four years so this is in years this is an annual compounding so we're good on interest rate just make sure you check that every time okay so if we go back we remember that a or the equivalent value of a uniform amount that would equal out to this either constantly increasing or constantly decreasing um, is equal to a prime plus a double prime. And a prime is just our a here, and a double prime is what we're going to get from an equation. So a prime is 24,000, and then a double prime. That's where we need to do some work. Okay. So a double prime, and if we look at a double prime using uh, this g value, we can say that it is g, which is negative 6,000, and then a given g, 6%, uh, we're using 6% with a year, four years, four periods. Okay, so here we could have done the equation, but we're going to look at the chart. Um, we're going to go to the 6% chart. We're going to look at A given G, which is this column right here, and we're going to look at four years. So we get this value right here, 1.427. So that's 1.427. Multiply that by negative 6,000, we get a value of negative 8. 5562 and so if we want to find a we just take 24,000 subtract or add the negative 8562 and we end up with the value of a equals 15,438 what does that number mean well that's this if instead of paying this for all our maintenance costs, if we wanted to just level this out so we knew what we were going to have to pay every year was going to be constant, in order for these two to be equivalent, we would have to pay $15,438 instead of this, but it would be the same. All right, so that's it. Thanks.